Well, this is a big event happening here at House of Blues, so I had to bring in a big deal to help us get the lowdown, the inside scoop of what's going on here. This is Julius. Thanks for having us up here in the VIP Foundation Room. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? It is insane. Yeah. I absolutely love it up here. And when you're at the event, there's eight different food stations. Mm -hmm. One is going to be up here. That's right, yeah. So normally I would think, well, I can't get in unless I'm a member only. Sure. Kind of well, Foundation Room is a membership-based VIP club. So we have a really strong membership base to our VIP room. Mm -hmm. But for this event, mm -hmm. we can all be members and come up and you hang can. out. You can, actually, yeah. You can come up and enjoy the Foundation Room Lounge where we'll have three beer stations, a food station, and then upstairs in our dining room, you can also enjoy beer up there as well. And our amazing patio, weather permitting, yes. out that goes along East 4th Street is really nice. Now, when it comes to the food, <laughs> mm -hmm. some good food that you have. Oh here, my God, sure. yes. We've got the cauliflower, we've got the mac and cheese. It's delicious. A word around town, Julius, is that this mac and cheese, create your own, is killer. If you want a healthier option, we've got the coconut, <laughs> the coconut curry uh, cauliflower with quinoa and avocado on top. Ooh, see, that look, now I won't feel so bad eating this load of mac and cheese. That's right, you can tag team a little bad, a little bit good, good. Well, I'm gonna try this. Now, can we, uh, well, while I try, the non-member access that you have. Here. Yes, so on What's Local Brews, Local Grooves, uh, Foundation Room will be open to non-members. And we also do wanna let people know that the Foundation Room is open before and after shows for non-members to come up. Check out a DJ or a band I have playing open for a weekend cocktail for a date, or to make an open table reservation in our third floor dining room upstairs. I love the sound as well. You know what, it's in the name, Local Brews. Local so Brews. So I think it's time for me to have maybe a beer or two. Let's do it. Go with this. We'll have three different beers out there, uh, including one for the early bird session. Um, the first one is our Albino Stout, which is one of the beers that we're known for um, downtown. It's a white stout, uh, so kind of an oxymoron. Is that poor for me or for you? This, uh, well, I'll get to you here in a second, I guess. That's yours? <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> so th it's a very full-bodied um, blonde ale brewed with a hefty amount of oats and then topped uh, with copious amounts of chocolate and coffee. I like how we say copious amounts. Yeah, so it evokes a Damn lot of that chocolate, vanilla, Oh, does it, you can smell the vanilla and the oh, chocolate yeah. in that. It, it smells fantastic. So it is a dessert in a glass. I have a feeling, when they come through, you can give the drink tickets. Yep. Correct? You can get as many as you want. They're going to have all the bars open, too. So they come up, get a drink ticket. Are they going to be in glasses this big? No. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> the, the pours there will be closer to five ounces, just, just like your standard sample size. Um, Oh, it's that delicious. Now I see why yeah. you're known for that. <laughs> yeah, so oh, it, it definitely stuff, plays with your eyes because you're, you're expecting something much lighter, not all the roast and coffee and chocolate. It's so. delicious. Well, on top of this, they're also going to have two wineries here. I bet you, did you know that? Uh, it's exciting it's stuff, new right? To me. So yeah, if you like great. wine too, you can get that again. They'll give you a drink ticket. You can walk up. All the bars are open as well. I think there's plenty of reasons to come and enjoy this great event, don't very you? Very much so. Very much so. I say so. cheers to that. Cheers. I'm going to try it.